I'm not, like I say, I'm not gonna get into a COVID talk. I just wanted to uh, point that out. Hello, YouTube, it's Cruise Man on a gorgeous Tuesday morning here at Awake in Carrollton, getting ready to leave. I just had breakfast with Don Smith. Some of you know Don over at uh, TexasTulane.com is his uh, YouTube channel. You might want to check it out. He's got some nice videos. And I'm just heading back home and thought I would take some time and just uh, do a little motor vlogging today. It is a really pretty morning. It's about 80 degrees. Just a little bit of wind, maybe five to 10 miles per hour, not too bad. And I'm gonna update you on a few things going on at Cruise Man's Garage. For those of you that own my 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos, uh, I have updated a few of those videos in the last couple days. Uh, mostly just uh, new graphics. I uh, improved the audio quality a little bit on a couple of them. Uh, not really any new information per se, just uh, kind of improved the overall graphics and the audio so that the next time you watch them, uh, you should get a little better experience, hopefully. I'm always trying to improve the techniques and uh, make things a little easier to understand in my videos. I want to thank you if you do have my videos. I want to thank you for uh, purchasing those. It, that supports this YouTube channel. And also, uh, another little bit of news, our Facebook group for the 2018 Plus Goldwing is really growing. A lot of you are signing up for that Facebook group. It doesn't cost anything to join. And uh, that's a place where you can post questions about Goldwing maintenance on your 2018 Plus. Uh, we have another Facebook group for the, uh, actually for any year model Goldwing. Uh, but we also have this new one that's specifically for the 2018 Plus Goldwing. I got a package in the mail the other day from Traction, which is uh, Max McAllister's channel. And I thought, what the heck are they sending me? It's a little bitty package. Yeah, I was hoping, uh, I got a notification from Stamps.com that I had a package coming in from Traction. And I thought, wow, Max, what a great guy. He's sending me new suspension for my Goldwing. What a guy. Well, not quite. I wasn't that lucky. But what I did get was this uh, little uh, center stand pad or piece of material that you put on your uh, center stand, which makes it kind of slip proof. It's a non-skid material. It's basically, I think it's designed for outdoor stairs. And I had this material on my 2012 Goldwing Center Stand. I remember I had to go to Home Depot and I think I bought a roll of it because they come in about a 14 or 18 inch strip in a roll just so I could cut out a little piece to put on my center stand on the little footrest and uh, I think I paid 10 bucks for it. Well, Max has now come out with uh, one that's kind of custom cut. They've die cut it to fit perfectly on the center stand, on the little foot pad. And what it does is it makes it easier to get your bike up on the center stand, especially if you're in the rain or if it's wet or your bottom of your shoes are wet because your foot could slip off that. And some of you may have experienced this. If your foot slips off that uh, little pad as you're trying to put the bike on the center stand, uh, you can very easily drop your bike. Just It can just go over the other way. So I installed mine. It's simple to install. You, I just basically cleaned off the, uh, the little foot pad with alcohol, make sure it's really clean. And then it's, uh, it has uh, adhesive on the back of this uh, material. 
and you just peel off the backing and stick it on. It couldn't be easier. And I think Max is selling these. I watched his video after I got it. I went and watched his channel and, and saw the video. And I think he's selling these things for like four dollars. So it's much cheaper than trying to go to Home Depot and buying that material yourself. So check those out at Traction Dynamics. I'll put a link to his uh, website in the description of this video. And I want to thank Max for sending me that. Now I've got a non-skid foot pad on my 2018 because I have not added that material yet to the 2018. So that's kind of cool. We're having really hot weather here in Dallas, Texas uh, this month. It's, you know, we had a really mild summer in like the month of April and May. But then in kind of the middle of June, it really started getting hot. And we've had uh, really hot days, usually up near 100 each day. High humidity. In the mornings, it gets up 75-80% humidity, and then it kind of goes away a little bit in the afternoon. We might even be getting some rain later today. So the best time to ride this time of year is really early in the morning. Up until about 10 o'clock, 10.30, then it starts getting hot again. Now, what I'm not hearing from some of you is uh, about your road trips. I know some of you are out there uh, taking road trips on your Goldwing or on your motorcycle. Doesn't matter what kind of motorcycle you ride. Uh, I'd like to hear where have you been in the last month or two. I'd also like to know how many of you have bought a new motorcycle since the pandemic. So since uh, I'd say probably February, if you bought a new motorcycle since February, I'd like to know. And what kind of motorcycle you bought? Was it a Goldwing or was it a BMW or a Harley? What did you get? Just curious to see how people are spending their money and when they're spending it. And I just think it's interesting. I've been promising to talk to you a little bit about stupid people. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples that I've had recently where I just can't figure people out. The first one was Don and I were having breakfast. This is probably a month ago, and we went to our restaurant there in Carrollton, Awake. And we were the first ones in the place, so we're the only ones there. We sit at a table for four, and he sits at the opposite corner of the table. You know, we're trying to do the social distancing thing. And another customer walks in, and this guy, he has the whole restaurant, and it's a big restaurant. And he comes over and sits at the table right next to us. Now, this kind of reminds me of that situation where when I went to Whole Foods the other day, and I put it in one of my motor vlogs, and the guy parks right next to me. He parks so close to me, I couldn't even hardly get my door open in a car to get into the car. And the whole parking lot was empty. I, 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 can you guys explain this to me? Is it just me or are these people just not paying attention? Okay, so then I go to the grocery store the other day and I had enough time while I'm waiting on this guy to actually get my phone out and videotape some of it. Now, I was trying to buy something. I think they were baked beans or something. And this guy is standing there right in front of the baked beans on his cell phone. And I'm standing behind him waiting for him to move so I can make my purchase. But he's standing there. He was there at least three or four minutes, which I know it doesn't sound like a lot. That's a long time to stand and wait for somebody to move. And he's completely oblivious. He has no idea. I even walked around to where I'm kind of where he can see me and he doesn't care. Is it just me, or, or is this... Are, are people just completely unaware of their surroundings? So I could go on and on about stupid people. Also, I was just at Einstein's to pick up a bagel for Ricky. I'm taking it home to her. And now Einstein's has this new policy. When you pay for your bagel, first of all, they've got signs everywhere. And a lot of businesses have this now. Social distancing, stay six feet apart. They've marked on the, on the ground where you're supposed to step. 
it's like we're little children. I mean, is there somebody out there right now that doesn't already know about social distancing? And it's the same thing at Costco. Everybody's put these big stickers on the ground. Stand here. Stand six feet away. Like six feet is some magic number. Like at five feet, 11 inches, you die from the virus. But if you're six feet away, you'll stay perfectly healthy. Where's the science in that? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I understand. So now they've got a policy where when you pay for your order, you put your money into a tray. And then he picks it up out of the tray and puts it in the cash register. And there was a guy in front of me today that actually said to the guy, do you realize this is stupid, right? <laughs> and I thought I was the only one. But apparently this guy in front of me agreed. And he was a younger guy. And you can tell he's just kind of fed up with the idiocy of all these new policies. They do this at Burger King now. They put your food in this filthy tray and hand through the window and then you have to grab the bag out of the filthy tray and then you put your money in the filthy tray and they get the money out of the filthy tray and then they put your change back in the filthy tray and give it back to you. So what's the difference between just handing them the money? There's no difference. So I think this is why so many people are frustrated with the mask wearing and all these other rules and regulations because it's obvious to most people it's just window dressing. They're just trying to make people feel like they're doing something to make them safe. But people are smart enough to know that it's not doing anything. It's just making everything less convenient. So anyway, I'm not going to get on a rant about masks and all that stuff today. When I go into a business, I wear a mask just to make everybody happy. And uh, anyway, I'm not, like I say, I'm not going to get into a COVID talk. I just wanted to uh, point that out about stupid people, the guy standing at the grocery store, and I have a whole thing I can do on grocery stores. So anyway, I want to thank you. I'm almost home. Thanks for joining me today to let me just babble on aimlessly about anything. And I will see you again, whether you like it or not, on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.